their couch. But my grandma had it and I grew up with this and now it's mine. So that's what we're doing. <clears throat> so um, I'm just gonna pull all these things out and show you what I'm working with tonight. And let me know you're here, say hi. And thank you for the sprinkles. Oh, hi, Nancy. <laughs> Curl. <laughs> Nancy's, we work together all day long. And now look, she's over here on the live. You are just the sweetest. See, that's what I wanted to avoid. Let me turn this off. I sent my brother a funny TikTok and he just responded. <laughs> too funny. <clears throat> Dinner was yummy. Hi, Corrine. Hi, Darlene. Okay, so this is what we have. This is a kit. We only have a few of these left um, or listed in the store. As with anything we I do, if I say it's a kit and you don't want the kit and you just want the item, like for instance, this guy, you can get just him. We created a new sign. It says, come in for a bite. Actually, I listed the rail. I forgot to list the sign. Oh, bummer. <clears throat> so this is what I'm working on. This is the kit. So you're gonna get, this is an eight inch sign. This is the uh, vampire plushie. So I showed him off the other day. And then with that, we're gonna do the 15 inch reface, silver tubing, red mesh, um, pipe cleaners. I just grabbed a whole thing. I didn't. I couldn't be bothered with counting them. And then um, let me save that. And then uh, ribbon. Now this kit. There's no bow on this. We have. We're gonna do three ribbon tails to every single tie. So we have this sheer red, this black, white, and red Harlequin. We have been dying to use this because it has the red dot in there. We're like, what could we use it for? We didn't use it. We, I think we used different, something different for um, Valentine's Day and then just a straight black. So this is our tails here. Set that to the side. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is, so my, do my 10 year old daughter has been in my closet trying on my heels. And so the little clomping is her in my high heels. Please, please. And you changed. Hit the road, Jack. <laughs> so first thing I'm going to do is take my sign and put the mount mounting squares on. I brought my DAP. I love to use that. I plug the glue gun in over there. So we're going to let that get heated up. I'll have to take a picture because um, I don't wear pumps. So it's either like chunky heels, the big chunky heels or heels. And this girl is crazy. So there you go. Hello, hello. If I miss anything, um, someone will point it out. Richard will catch it. Hi, mom. The vampire is cute. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to position this. He's going to be on this side and then the sign is going to be like over here. So it's going to kind of look, let me show so Instagram can see. It's going to kind of look like this. So I want him kind of like at an angle and then the sign over here. So I don't want it straight up and down. I'm going to put it at like, so it's turned in a little bit. So assuming that I want to put it like that, I'm going to put this off center. So I usually line this up where I want to put it and then put my um, cake, my mounting squares. So I want it like right here and right here because that's where it's going to line up with the rail. So I'm just going to flip this over and that's what we're going to do. Take the little sticky back off. So she, my feet are still bigger than hers. She's almost there and She's just trying on all of my shoes. And um, Daddy saw them last night. Daddy didn't like it. <laughs> I'm like, she just likes to play dress up. 
itself. So dap, which is super glue, and put it on here. Now, you guys, when I was doing my live during the day, I was putting glue on here and then putting hot glue on here when it was still wet. It made such an awful smell. So if you have some kind of reaction to smells like that, make sure to wait until this is dry or at least, like I can see a little bit of glue came out here and on the side. I'm just gonna set it to the side until it's time. Um, probably after I put the mesh, I'll come and put the glue on, the hot glue, so um, it's dry by the time we put this on. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna set it right here, actually. Then, can someone come turn my fan on, please, before I start melting away? Hi, Brenda from YouTube, welcome. Okay, so eight ties, let's get our mesh out. Thank you, honey. Oh, that feels so much better. You guys, it is so hot today. Okay, so we're gonna do, um, I want this to be like a big fluffy wreath. So this is value mesh, it's pretty see-through, but we're gonna do, um, because it's a full roll of mesh, I'm gonna do uh, 30 inches and um, I remember I've got to scoot over, so because I'm right-handed. Um, 36. So we're gonna come down here to 36. I have to tell you, um, after I looked at my insights on my page and seeing that um, my time, we've we've actually known this for a while, but looking at it again and making a decision, my time that my followers are on Facebook is at 6 p.m. Pacific time. That's where I'm at in the West Coast. Owen, I'm live, honey. I can hear your whole conversation. Um, so we're gonna change it up. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and possibly Saturday, we'll be going live at 6 p.m. unless something comes up and then I'll let you know um, beforehand. The thing with the text message, I cannot send you guys a text message too late. So that's why I'm saying set a reminder because 6 p.m. my time is already 9 p.m. Eastern and that's too late. I don't want to get in trouble. One, two, three, four, five. But going live at this time and not feeling rushed at the shop to hurry up and get whatever I'm doing done or, you know, stopping in the middle of my day was pretty nice the past two days. So I'm enjoying this so I can spend more time with you and not feel like I have to hurry up and run out of the building. Okay, yeah, one more. I just wanted to make sure. Look, I cannot talk and count and cut at the same time. So that's what we get. Let me move this up. There we go. Oh, you don't want to see my, you, you don't want to see that over there. That's like the um, cookbook corner. It has my placemats. Um, there's some gardening gloves. <laughs> I had my uh, Instagram pointed over there. We, we don't need to see that over there. Okay, so take your pipe cleaners. We're gonna put them on here. So if you have your wreath route blueprint, if you're new here, Go to wreathrailblueprint.com. It's a free printable. You just put your email address in and I, the system, I email you um, a PDF, print it out. You can keep track of projects that I do to so you can use it for reference. If you want to recreate this, um, you can have all the measurements down. So today's date is the night. It's Johnny Depp's birthday, by the way. Um, so six, nine, and then, um, the title is the vampire plushie or whatever, whatever the title is in my video. That way, if you have to come back to my page or when you share it to your page, you can find it again. And then, um, the vampire plushie, the sign is eight inches. So if you like that size of sign, 
that's an eight inch sign. This base is 15 inches. This is our rethrow base. We came up with this last year or the year before. It was during COVID when there was a wreath base shortage and you know we cut things out of wood. So, oops, why not make something out of wood? But it's flat, I love it. It's very sturdy and easy to work with. You take your pipe cleaner, fold it in half, and then I'm just coming through, and all of these bars right here is where I'm putting um, the ties. It's your baby brother's birthday. Well, happy birthday, baby brother. Oh, how funny, Veronica. Richard was saying he wants to do coffee talks again. I'm like, we don't have time for none of that. We'll have to see. So this is what it looks like in the back. Nothing exciting. You're just adding your um, pipe cleaners. Then you're going to take your mesh, roll side away, and this is 10 inch mesh. Cut it eight or cut it 30 inches. So you have this big long piece. Roll the ends, and then ruffle down the middle. I'm always awkward at this stage, so we can come in here and fix this. And then I'm just gonna place this. Flat side is up, curl side is down. And then grab your ends here, and that one did come out wonky, I'm just gonna leave it. We're just gonna cover it anyways. Skip one and go to the next one. This is how I make it super fluffy we're gonna stack. So this is like the first layer. And I should have cut the ribbon too, but I didn't, so. Comes out kinda wonky. And we're live right now, but if you are watching the replay later on, um, let me know what you think about this plushie. I know there's other people out there doing them. They're so fun. Once you learn how to do them, um, if you like little crafty pieces like that, I think they're fun. We do have some DIY kits. So if you want to make it yourself, you can buy the kit. All you need is hot glue. There's no sew, no sewing. So if you're like me and you don't want to sew, you don't like to sew, you don't have to sew. The no sew is perfect. Hi, Simone from YouTube. Richard's monitoring comments, so if you see him posting, that's what he's he's helping out. He's taking one for the team. How do you get the plushy vampire? Richard or uh, Richard will hopefully link that for you after the. If you're watching on YouTube. After the um, live, I can go back and edit. I haven't done it the past videos. I'll go back and edit and add the links in there. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe um, and we will go back and add the links. I Everything can be found in my shop. So if you know how to get to my shop, then you can do the search and find the stuff. I try to use the keywords that we um, that, like this is vampire. If you've typed in vampire, you'll pull up everything with vampire. If you go to plushie, you'll find all the plushies. We have sugar skulls. We have a cat, a dog. We even have a baseball, you guys. We didn't really talk about that. We have a baseball plushie for, um, you know, baseball moms, baseball families. If you have a baseball sign, put the baseball plushie on there. Um, what else do we have? Frankenstein. We have Frankenstein and... Um, the Bride of Frankenstein, that is a bundle. So if you wanted to buy both of them, um, it's in the listing. You'll see the picture of them together. You can get one or the other or both of them. Hi, Linda. Hi, Cassie. So just roll, and you see I'm just using my chest. I don't have a, um, a clip here, so I'm just going to use it. We're just having fun anyways. And you guys, I didn't. I sent out a message earlier. Um, I posted a couple things, a post, a video, a reel. 
Uh, we have a summer sale right now. If you spend $50, you're gonna get 15% off. It's an automatic discount. Everything in the store, um, automatic discount, you do not need a code. Now, here's a tricky part. The store doesn't stack discounts. So if you already have a better discount, um, something if you're a VIP or a wreath roll club or whatever I have out there and you have a better discount, make sure that you are using that discount. Um, I cannot change discounts after the order's already placed. So right here, I'm having this pointy piece right here. I don't like that. So I come on the opposite, watch. See the pointy piece? I just very lightly pull that mesh through and then it pulls the pointy piece through. And then, um, these are open like this. This is what it's looking like. I'm gonna set this right on top and open this uh, ruffle so it's covering the board. We do not wanna see the board, right? Yay! Oh, thank you, hi Brenda. I gotta turn this, I can barely see. You see me squinting over here. Yay, Simone. Simone's on YouTube, if you guys see, she says, she bought six rails and signs and absolutely loved them. So um, over here on the side where uh, Vampire, Mr. Vampire is, um, we're gonna do a little experiment. And I'm going to, because I recognize that People need budget-friendly pieces um, right now. So I'm taking a little sign, I think it's an eight inch sign, an eight inch sign and a 12 inch rail and I'm gonna make something with it. But I wanna make sure that I have the recipe down before we go and talk about it. So that's something I'm gonna do off camera. I'm gonna put it together, make sure I have all the measurements done and then show you about this cute little piece that we're gonna put together. So. Um, and as with anything, if you have your own signs, you know, I know I have a stash of signs everywhere. So if you already have signs, think about what you can use. Adding a, a standard rail like this is so inexpensive. And that's what I'm going to uh, try doing over here. So this is what this looks like. You'll see some of the board is uh, showing through. It's all right, we're gonna add all the rest of this stuff. So now let me get back to the sign. We get the glue. So this is super glued on. I'm taking, when you do the super glue, the super glue is on the wood, but glued to the sticky part. We need to put glue around this so the wood and the plastic are glued together. And that's why I take hot glue and do a big bead of it all the way around the edge here because we do not want this coming off. It's just an extra layer of protection. Here in Las Vegas, the, the heat will literally melt these things. If I just use the super glue, it will come off. So you'll see, I'm gonna keep it flat. That's what the glue looks like and then I don't trust myself. I'm going to sit her over here. Because you know me, I'll burn myself. Put my hand straight in the glue. We don't need that. Mm. Okay. Next. Let's do the ribbon because I want to put the ribbon on. I should have done it after the first layer of the um, um, of the mesh, but eh, it doesn't matter. So there should be eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are 12 inches. This is what comes with the kit. Otherwise you can just do, I'm putting 12 inch tails on here. One, two, three, can't even see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so these are 12 inches. I was just making sure there's eight because there's eight ties here. No bow on this one. We're just gonna cut the tails. 
And I, so if you guys, um, if you're in the Rethrow Club, I used the black sheer ribbon and it's one of my favorites. This is the red one. And I absolutely love it. So it's pretty see-through. So I wouldn't, uh, because I use the red mesh here, I would probably just not use this one by itself, but because I have these other two, I'm gonna use that. And then it sticks to everything. These little uh, wires come out of the end and it's so frustrating, but that's okay. Now, you guys that are here, let me know, what is the next project you want me to work on? Um, I probably, Richard might go in the shop on Saturday. I probably won't. Um, so when I go tomorrow, I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna make. Um, we just made a new wine kit that's listed. We made a, um, there's another like fall welcome kit. The colors match beautifully with this mesh that we have that's like a steel blue and I think it's like beige. Um, someone asked me, so when I text, sent my text message earlier, I asked a question. The first person that answered said they want to see me make a plushie. Um, when I do that, I'm probably going to do it from the shop and uh, use the overhead camera so I can record it as a tutorial. Because on those, and I can just list it with the, um, the link to the tutorial. So when you buy the DIY kit, so you'll we'll have it all together. So um, we're gonna work on that. But give me some ideas of what you wanna see me do. Cause look, this girl runs out of ideas sometimes. I know it's hard to believe, but my brain does go to overload sometimes, okay? And then, because I've been at it since I've been up, uh, after this live is over, I'm clocking out. <laughs> but really, I have got to work on my, um, so in my inner circle, Friday is our results day that we uh, share how we did on our goals this week. And I have to finish up some of that. So right now I'm off track. So when I get off of my off of this live, I'll go work on it so I can be on track so I can celebrate tomorrow. Okay, dovetail those. And, oops, and then this. I don't need all these over here. Let me just put it in here. So my grandma, before she got really sick and before she passed, she had one of her bedrooms in her house was her painting room and um oh and so let's say she's crafty right she's an artist she was painting i don't remember any of her paintings no that's a lie i think her boyfriend loved white tigers i remember her painting a white tiger i think i don't know my if my mom's still watching she'll remind me <laughs> but my grandma was i would say she was crafty i don't know so hopefully she's happy that I'm using her couch and it's, you know, uh, got some crafty stuff going on here, right? I don't remember what she painted. I don't know. That was so long ago. I think I had just moved to Vegas. So 2005, she passed in 2005, I think. Cause I remember I had to drive back. I had to drive out there. I didn't have to. I got to drive out to California and then um, spend time with her. She was, hospice was already involved in. Say goodbye and give her a hug and a kiss. And then I drove back to Vegas. Cause I had to go to work. Yeah, 2005, cause I was living here. Yeah. Okay. They need to make ribbon that says bite me. Nancy, we need ribbon that says bite me. <laughs> the girls have been experimenting and we've been making our own ribbon. 
as in we're not stitching a single thing you guys none of us in the office between me Kule, and nancy we are not seamstress sewers okay we're not sewing a thing we're sublimating on ribbon and making our own ribbon so, there you go okay so the next thing i want to do is take this guy and since there's eight ties every tie will get now this is cute every tie will get ribbon tails so I think we'll be fine just putting this straight on here. Um, I'm going to put the red in the middle. So I'm going to take these two. Let's do black, harlequin, and then red. And this is going to be our pattern. White tigers for Mitch. She painted a carousel horse and she did flowers. There you go. So take your ribbon, I fold it in half. Right here is where I'm going to do my uh, ruffle and pinch that and put it right into the tie. Now this one, because this is not a flat wreath, I want my ribbon to come up and out. So I'm gonna kind of pinch this up and not gonna fluff it because we still gotta add the tubing. This ribbon wants to act all funky. It's getting away from me. Hi, Rita. Thank you, ma'am. Bite me, right? And when, if you're new here, when I do my projects, I do not take apart the tie to add the ribbon in. So the ties on the board, the mesh, it's tied, the ribbon, it's tied, the tubing, it's tied. Each one has its own layer, and then you just make sure it's tight. And you can kind of feel it if it's loose. If it's loose, you can go back and retie it, but we're just going to leave it like that. I can't wait to see how this comes out. What else can we do? I know Halloween is like full swing already. We, you guys, we totally skipped summer. Like it's summer outside because it's hotter than, you know, you know what? But as far as a crafter goes, I feel we just totally skipped summer. We still have all kinds of summer stuff that we wanted to do. We're like, nope, we're moving on. The rest of the world's moving on, we're moving on. So we're doing Halloween right now. We have some fall and then Christmas in July, you guys, that's coming. So be ready for that, okay? And I know some people think it's too early, yes. For non-crafters, it is way too early. It's only June, right? We haven't even hit 4th of July. But as a crafter, you have to be ready because people are still doing craft shows. People are shopping. They want seasonal stuff, shopping for gifts, all the things. And as a crafter, we have to be ready. And for me, I'm a supplier. I'm supplying stuff for people to make for this time, so I have to be even um, earlier than that. So if you were wondering what the heck is going on, why we're even doing Halloween, that is why, okay? Usually if you shop at Hobby Lobby or any of the craft stores, home decor stores like that, you see that they're putting that, that next season out, then it's time. You don't wanna miss the boat, right? So coming to the tie, after I put the ribbon, kind of taking it where it's at at the base of the tie and pinching it so it's coming up and out and then uh, bringing the ribbon out like this, okay? Only 70, hmm, lucky. Hi, Ann. 
my car said 107 when I got into it, but it had been sitting in the sun. But when I got off the freeway to come to the house, it said 109. So um, what happened? My computer says 104 and sunny. Nope, it looks, there's clouds out there. I don't know what's happening. So strange. Okay, so when you get your tubing, this one is all kinds of kinky. I'm gonna show, oh, I found the end. I'm gonna show you what to do when it's kinky like that. You can either cut it or when it's all twisted up like this, you're gonna separate it. This one I'm probably gonna cut and you're gonna push on itself to open up that tube. And I kind of crease it a little bit or uncrease it and just make it to where it's tubing again. And this is real skinny tubing. And just open it like this. So pushing on itself to open up that tie because you know this this mesh here is uh you can manipulate it a little bit, but I might end up cutting some of this. Okay, where's the other end? Oh, there it is. Um, let's do um this is probably gonna upset me because it's so kinky, but that's okay because we have a whole package. Let's fluff this out first. So we get a true picture. I'll probably, let's do, um, let's see if I can get 22 inches on this. We'll just add whatever. Oh my gosh, remember my board's backwards. I'm gonna have to flip it. Cause I can't count backwards. I don't have time to use uh, math. Okay, there's 22. So I cut it and I'm gonna hold all these ends together and very loosely just bring this down not stretch it just let it hang and then where this is at there's the other 22 so there's four and i am going to cut this piece off because this is awful tubing right here you win some you lose some look right where that uh we'll just cut right there right where that little funky piece is we're just going to cut that and i already lost the end um Let's just put one piece in because I can tell this is gonna drive me crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Okay. There's six, and then we have this other funky piece, so we're just gonna cut it. We don't have time for this drama. <sighs> Fix this part. Hi, Kim. Your rose bush, Darlene says my rose bush usually blooms now, no buds yet, isn't warm enough. Oh my gosh. I have to tell you, so, um, I have a bit of a green thumb and um, if you guys remember, okay, so remember last year my mother-in-law passed and I had taken a clipping of one of her plants, it was like she's had this plant for quite a while. Well, it is growing like crazy. It's, I've already trimmed it back once and took the buds or took the pieces off that and I'm growing those. So I have multiple plants now they're just in water and mason jars i have to do i have to plant them but i need potting soil but the main plant started with four leaves i'll take a picture and show you what it's turned into but my aunt in california gave me some dragon fruit and she gave it to me last year and i left it in the shed and i finally took it out recently and put it in um um uh, my big pot my lemon tree died you guys it was fine i had two lemons everything was green and then it was almost like overnight it just it dried up either it froze to death i don't know the lemon i got the lemons off but the the tree completely died and it wasn't from lack of water because i i do water my stuff but i'm going to take some pictures and show you guys i might even do make sure you watch my stories um I'll probably post a video in my stories and show you the dragon fruit is going crazy. Absolutely crazy. It has all these little 
new growth on it and even two I had this little planter that um was very low to the ground and you know my tortoises are humongous one of them climbed her little fat booty up onto the planter and ate two of my um my dragon fruit plants so I let them sit out I let them you know get calloused over and then I replanted them even those ones are growing so but now that it's hot I have to move them into the shade because my aunt said that they can get burned in the sun. So I will I will share with you what it looks like and talk about, you know, the growth and all that things. So I love plants, by the way. It's my love language. <laughs> okay. Hi, Sharon. So, oh, Nancy, that's what I did use. I'm going to have to show you because they are going crazy. So take your tubing I just went through take your tubing you're gonna fold it over if you've never used this before this is a wonky piece but imagine that it's not like this and it's gonna be you're gonna have both pieces here you're gonna take this and bring it together like this so you have like this little bow tie Nancy I did use that I'm gonna have to find more because they're they're loving it so I also for the longest time I had an aloe vera plant and one plant and that little sweet thing bloomed into 19. It was completely taking over the pot that it was in. I finally leaned the pot over. I broke several pieces of the plant, but that's okay. And I got 19. So the mama plus 19 babies. And we're talking big babies. So that I have aloe vera spread out all over my backyard in the pots. I have one more that I need to plant that I didn't have enough potting soil for. And those are doing okay. Those are temperamental. Either I give them too much water, not enough water, or they get too much sun, or not enough sun. So depending on how they look, if they're not bright green, then I either water them, don't water them, or move them in the sun, move them out of the sun. Anyhow. Okay, this is what it's looking like. We haven't fluffed anything, we're just, um, Put everything on there now I don't have anything else to add on top of the pipe cleaner so I twist this off and then I'm gonna take my wire cutters and I cut it to where there's just like a little nub and then take that nub and I'm gonna bend it over back on to the bottom of the tie and kind of like pinch it there and then um, now we can start opening our ribbon here now the red is going to just blend in but when you look at it it's really standing out something on top of this black and i think it looks just completely appropriate so twist these off twist it clip it here's my little trash can bend it and then fluff these out this is why you don't have to fluff until you're absolutely ready because um, you're gonna be touching all of the things and you could literally just keep fluffing all night long until you hang it up. So you see, I'm just gonna open up the ties right here or the uh, ribbon. These two I did and fix your mesh. So twist it. I should have just done it at the same time, but I was chatty. Little chatterbox here. Hi, Blanche. Darlene, they will. So the tor the tortoises, they um, will eat anything in the ground, They or the grass, the weeds. They know what they can eat and what they can't eat. Like I have a little patch of clovers out there that they won't touch because they know what they're supposed to eat. Um, yes, they will eat my aloe. They actually ate another plant and um, these, the girls are just, because I have two girls, two desert tortoises. They're just big. They're just climbing. They're actually climbers. So if, if we had a low fence or something, or um, they'll, uh, be, when they were smaller, we had to block off our side gate because it's had like wide um, things. They will actually prop themselves up and fit through. So they're uh, crafty little creatures. 
So they've chewed on two. I'll show you when I take pictures of the dragon fruit, you'll clearly see half the plant is like this because it's chewed up. Um, they'll eat the aloe. They eat um, prickle, prickle pear, prickly pear, cactus. I don't have any of that. So if I do plant something for them, a lot of desert tortoise owners will have an actual like flower bed where they grow food for the um, tortoise. But you have to remember that um, they're wild animals. Mine weren't wild, mine were bred. It's actually illegal to breed uh, tortoises here in Las Vegas because it's overpopulated with tortoises in captivity. If you find them in the wild, you are supposed to leave them. Do not touch them, do not move them because they have their, their creatures of habit. Um, they know what to eat. They don't have ready available water. I have water out there for them. They won't touch it for days they know what to do so um it's not good to give them lettuce sometimes i do i buy dandelions um, from smith's which is a kroger store they have a big bunch of dandelions sometimes i'll do that i haven't done it in a while um and give them that but the lettuce um is not nutritious for them or anything and it's just uh it can make their shell soft so that you're not supposed to give them lettuce um, roses are like a treat for them. Rose petals, uh, dandelion flowers. When I went to the park with Amelia, um, I picked some of the yellow flowers for them. Uh, my yard doesn't get dandelions for whatever reason. I'll drive by yards and I'm like, oh, look at all those dandelions. We don't get dandelions in our yard. I don't know why. That was a lot of information about the tortoises. <laughs> so if you ever want to know anything, please let me know. We have had them. Um, Amelia is one year older than them. So Amelia's 10, they're Wait, nine. What? Yes, I got them from someone I used to work with, um, actually bred their tortoises. You're not supposed to have a boy and a girl together. And they had babies. And when I got them, they, they fit in the palm of my hand. They were tiny. We kept them in the house. Um, until they were a few years old and then they could be out. Every single burrow that we've ever made for them, they do not use. So right now they're actually sharing a hole that they dug on the side of the yard. And um, they were in the shed over this, over the winter. They were, one was in the shed, one was in the, um, one of their burrows. Um, what else? I don't even know. I, I already know too much about them. <laughs> so anyways. Hi, Holly. So Darlene, my friend Stephanie sent me a plant, but it was already dried out by the time we got it. And I don't have any potting soil. I should have just thrown it in the, 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 the yard like, you know, plant it on the side, but the, the tortoises would have ate it. Okay, this is what this is looking like. Everything's on there, our, our thing is good now. So when you're, when you're hanging this wreath, you want to, um, I'm gonna take, I didn't bring any jute string, I just take a pipe cleaner that's the same color, and um, you can attach it to the back, so I'm just gonna lay this down, try not to smash it. I'm just gonna use this one as the top. So this is where it's going to hang from. And then I wrap this on itself like this, okay? Twist it off, make it nice and tight. And then this part, I'm gonna rotate this in right here. So if you're keeping track of uh, measurements, these are three ribbon tails per tie. They're cut at 12 inches. So three times eight, there's eight ties at 12 inches. And you can see the black and the white and the red is just gonna do amazing for this. Um, since this is the top, 
I wanted this over here and then him over here. Oh, this is cute. No bow for this. So for you guys that aren't making bows, you can feel comfortable making these wreaths with no bow. And then you're just gonna put your pipe cleaner here in the cable tie, the mounting square. I just twist it off. I don't add any more glue on it. Excuse me. Okay. So it's like this. Remember I wanted it at an angle. So let me find the top, which it's going to be directly across from me. And I wanted this over here. So let me stand up. Yep, I'm gonna go kind of like right there. And then you'll see with the um, ribbon tails right here, there's no bald spot, you know? So that's gonna go right there. I'm just gonna start putting it in here. I push the pipe cleaner through the mesh because the mesh is the base, the foundation, and then go on the other side where the opening is in the rail. And now this one, until I get everything situated, I'm just going to very loosely twist it off on the back and then flip this around so I could do this one. And hopefully I can get this in here properly and it's right where I want it to be. So I'm gonna move this ribbon a little bit so I don't have to try and poke through it. This one too, take that, poke it through. Okay, so if I'm holding this up, so right here at the top, let me see if I can turn this back a little bit. Oh, no, don't want it to fall off the table. Come here, mister. So right here is the top. I'm gonna look down on it and is that where I want my sign to be? So I'm still holding it in my hand back here I haven't tied it yet. And I like how it's kind of um, coming in a little bit and it's not like really flat. So let me get this one twisted off and then readjust the bottom one to make sure that's where I want it, okay? So twist that one off. I actually want it in a little bit more. I think that's gonna be good right there. Let me tie this one a little bit tighter. Remember this is one, this one's just loose. It's just hanging on. Okay, let me, let me leave that right there. Where's the top? Here's the top. So it's gonna kind of look like this. And you see, I'm gonna have to re-fluff the, the ribbon again. Oh, you can't even see my head, that's okay. Ooh, the fake vampire teeth. That's a good idea. What? How long do I keep this melty plastic thing on with the iron? What? Are you doing those beads? Yeah. Just until they melt? Like, I just, I don't leave it sitting there because you don't want to burn it. Yeah. Um, uh, Million knows. You got it. So all of our plushies come with the ties on the back. So automatically you can see that where you want to put this at. I want him to be kind of just across, so we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna take, um, I wanna move some of this ribbon out of the way so I have a spot to fit my, and the tubing, move it out of the way. I have a spot to fit my um, pipe cleaner. Sometimes you have to really look at where you're poking because the pipe cleaner just doesn't, oh see, I bent it. The pipe cleaner gets stuck in the mesh and then you gotta, sometimes it gets bent and it doesn't wanna poke right through. Come on, poke. Okay, look, we don't have time for that. We're just gonna take this and we're gonna clip that little piece off. Ooh, something's tickling my nose. Don't make me sneeze. Um, why is this so hard for me? <laughs> Hello? What the heck, man? 
There, finally. Oh my gosh, I was starting to sweat. And then I'm gonna go on this side of the tie. So I'm just kind of moving the stuff out of the way just so I can get him in there. Okay, loosely tie him. So I just twist it like that. I just want him resting and then I can come back and fix all this stuff here and make sure our ribbon is where we want it to be, okay? So move this out of the way. And now this one, the same thing, we're gonna take the ends of our pipe cleaners and go down into the mesh, right to the base, and hopefully you'll be able to tie it on one side of the rail and then on the other side of the rail. Excuse me. Like that. Oh my gosh, look at how cute you guys. I'm not even done. So now I'm pretty sure that's where I want him. I'm not gonna worry about the ribbon. I'm gonna come back and fluff all this. Once you find him, look, here's where it's hanging from. I have my hand right here, it's hanging. So you see how cute this is. Perfect for the vampire in your life. And then twist this off. Now that the sign and the vampire are where I want him, I'm gonna twist him off. We don't want him coming off. He shouldn't. Um, none of this should come off if you're doing your pipe cleaners um, tight enough to where they won't you know, come untwisted unless someone like deliberately walks up and starts yanking on your pieces this which that shouldn't happen um everything should stay so right now what i'm doing is i'm taking the twist tie and twisting it and you're going to have these pieces hanging out i just take them and push them right back in to where the mesh is so you don't even have to see the ends, nothing sticking out. Can kind of flatten that out. There's that one. And then let's turn it the other way. And the same thing over here. Hopefully I'm doing it the right way. Twist it so it's tight. And then take this, you can clip it off or I just fold it and then push it right back into the rail like that so you don't even see anything sticking out. Same thing over here. Make sure it's twisted off and then fold it over, cut it off, clip it, and then tuck it back in like that. And then that's what the back looks like. Here's the front. Now let's get all of this ribbon fixed over here because we've smashed the heck out of it. And I want it standing up. I want some of this poking out down here. Even the tubing, we don't want that smashed. So we're gonna move that. Oh, hold on, let me unplug the glue gun. I can smell it burning. Oof. And fix the ribbon. Where's this rib? See like this one right here was completely under vampire. We want all of this ribbon to show so we're just gonna fluff this stuff out. Now my eyes itching. Over here, we can move this like that. This is so fun. And I want you to see not every wreath needs a bow. It's going to be okay if you're not comfortable with it. Oh my gosh, you guys, my eyes itching like crazy now. Sorry. Where is this? See, this one's hiding underneath there. So we're just going to pull that one out a little bit. This one's hiding underneath there. Nice. We've made it all the way around. Fluffing this stuff out. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this. How cute is that? So, so cute. Here's, I know it's backwards on Instagram, but it says come in for a bite. Here's, let me get this out of the reflection maybe. It's still daylight here, so. There's, and the light's on. Isn't that cute? Now, 
here's what you can do. I Everything always looks different from me standing and working um, over top of it or even sitting and working. I always hang it up. Like if you watched yesterday after I did the live, I did post pictures of the after. I hang it up on the door, stand back, and then start moving things around where I think it should go. To me, it's like perception. Oh, I'm, I'm your guest walking up on your door. It's going to look better that way than standing over working on it. But here's up close. Let me hold it so it's straight. That's right like that. Isn't that cute? So I forgot to list the sign just by itself. Cat's at the door. Um, but we do have the rails. I will list the sign, you guys. I am so sorry. Total brain fart. Isn't that cute? Like right here, I don't like the way that these look, so I'm gonna switch this. I don't like the two down there. Oh, now it just looks, that's all right. We'll just leave it and forget about it. Okay, so um, tomorrow, I don't know what time I'll be live. Make sure you're on my text list, okay? Um, if you're watching on um, Instagram, it's 702-605-6338. You just send me a text. I don't know what that is. You send me a text. My uh, text service will text you back to confirm, and then you'll be on my text list. All I do is send out, I try to only do one a day. Sometimes you get multiple if you have a birthday, and I send out my birthday message. Um, it's not spam. Please do not email me and say add to my phone. That's not how it works. It's an actual computer app. I can pull it up on my phone. It's on the computer and it's a texting service. Okay, so I can send out a one text to everybody versus texting everybody individually. I can't add you myself. It's it's not like that. <laughs> so make sure you text or yes, text me to my text line. So you're on my notifications. I will let you know when I go live tomorrow. Um, we'll probably be showing you off some new signs that we've been doing and designs. And then Saturday we'll have another project. So I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Follow, like, subscribe, all the things that you're doing, wherever you're watching. And, um, I will see you tomorrow. Bye. We're going to turn this one off first. Maybe not. <laughs>